Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Virginia. Today you're going to learn the what and the how of asking about places. Let's start with what. What are these questions used for? They are used to ask about places. To ask about places, you can ask, for example, where's this? Native speakers use the question word, where, to learn about location. Good. Now let's learn how. How do you use these questions? You need to study your vocabulary and memorize this set of commonly used questions. Also, be sure to practice the contraction of where is, where's. When you want to know information about a location, close to the speaker, you can ask, where's this? When you want to know information about a location farther away from the speaker, you can ask, where's that? Remember that identifiers like this and that are often accompanied by gestures. To find out more specific information, you can replace the indicator with a noun. For example, where's the bus stop? Where's the restroom? If you want to ask for specific information using a possessive, you can ask, for example, where's your hotel? Where's your friend? Remember, if you need to address your question to a stranger, it is polite to get their attention by saying, excuse me. Keep in mind that native speakers ask for information about locations in a polite way. Your facial expression is very important. Watch me, for example, where's the dressing room? Where's the ticket booth? Where's your boyfriend? Let's try saying those three questions together. Please repeat after me. Where's the dressing room? Great job! Remember to think about your facial expression. Let's do another. Please repeat after me. Where's the ticket booth? Good! Remember to follow my intonation. Let's do one more. Please repeat after me. Where's your boyfriend? Excellent! We'll practice these examples and more in video B. Now, let's review. First, what are these questions used for? They are used to ask about places. Second, how do you use these questions? You use them by knowing the different phrases and the vocabulary. Well done! Let's move on to video B to really practice making your own questions. Remember to keep on reviewing your vocabulary. I'm Virginia. See you next time.